Mike at the top end with Tony Schumacher who gives a thumbs up to uh, teammate Antron Brown after that pass. We saw you in the last three events, Western Swing in the finals. We've seen two really strong passes in eliminations. How good are things right now as you look for that first win? They're going great so far. I mean, we've won the first two, but there's still two more to go. And, uh, but, you know, we we got a third round's going to be tough no matter who we have to race. I mean, it could be Morgan Lucas. It could be, uh, who's the other guy who won a couple championships? Oh, yeah, that's right, Dixon, man. <laughs> Heard of that guy. I'm looking desperately here to help him out, and he's playing with me. Can you imagine that? Sarcasm. You know, me and Dixon have won so much stuff and just battled against each other so hard that you almost look forward to him winning this round so you can race him. But you can't take Lucas uh, lightly, man. This is his race, and they're going to try real hard to win it. So it's going to be a monster battle. Thanks, Tony. Well, talking about Morgan Lucas, it's he and Larry Dixon that come up on the line. And speaking of Morgan Lucas and his team, we caught up with Terry Azar in between rounds for an all-access. Getting ready for next round. Uh, just get my tools all set, ready to go. Got to still warm up. Uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. See if we can make Dixon run for his money. Yeah, the black trigger's dead. This cable right here is, uh, we ohmed it and it's dead. So we got to put a new trigger on. So both coils, both triggers and both uh, mags work. The thing about it is it's like the belt's always in the way and things are are never easy to get to. It's always the hardest thing that you you can get to. And we've struggled this year and hopefully we're uh, just going to make it into the countdown and then uh, kind of do what Robert Hyde did uh, a couple years ago and just hopefully take the whole championship. Uh, it'd be great to do what Robert Hyde did, go from 10th to the championship. And, I mean, obviously you want to try to peak at the same time. Morgan made a very nice qualifying run, but he's he has struggled a little bit since then. Well, there's no one or not that Alan Abbey car. He will be racing Tony Schumacher in the next round, and he, not that I think it matters, but he will have lane choice by virtue of that great 384 pass. And boy, are the semifinals great matchups because we're talking Alan Abbey versus Don Schumacher racing in both cases. Worsham goes against Antron Brown. Lane choice to Brown. Larry Dixon has lane choice over Tony Schumacher. Stat guy. Think about this it was the exact same situation at Sonoma a couple of weeks ago when Tony Schumacher took on Larry Dixon, Antoine Brown took on Dell, but it was all DSR. Alan Abbey got dusted in the semis.